Hello children, how are you? Hope you people are doing well and have done extremely well in your exams. Well, after your second periodic, this is your first video through which we are going through all the core of this chapter. So, in this video, you would be learning about synthetic fibers and plastics. Synthetic fibers and their properties. You have variety of dresses in your cupboard. Have you ever thought from where these clothes came or more specifically, how these clothes are made? Dear students, the clothes are made of fabrics and fabrics are made from fibers. A fiber is basically a string made up of some material. On the basis of source, fiber are of two types, natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are obtained from plants or animals. For example, cotton, wool, silk. Technological innovations and chemical treatments made it possible to construct fibers artificially. Such fibers are called artificial fibers or synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. For example, rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. Today, we have different kind of applications based on these fibers. We will focus on synthetic fibers. So what are these? Take few paper clips and join them to form a long chain. In the similar way, small chemical units are joined repeatedly to form polymer or in common language, a synthetic fiber. Polymer is a Greek word in which poly means many and mer means parts or units. Polymers occur in nature also. For example, cotton is a polymer called cellulose which is made up of large number of glucose units. So what are the properties of synthetic fibers? Basically, synthetic fibers are durable, less expensive, readily available and easy to maintain. These fibers have ability to dry up quickly. This is the reason why we use synthetic fibers in umbrella. Let's perform an activity to understand this. Now, you must have understood that synthetic fibers soak less water and take less time to dry. Why is it so? It is because Synthetic fibers does not have empty spaces inside and so absorption is very less. Therefore, it takes less time to dry. Another important property of synthetic fibers is that on heating, these fibers melts. Actually, it is disadvantageous as the fabric melts and sticks to the body of the person wearing it. So we should avoid to wear synthetic clothes in kitchen, laboratories and similar places. Types of Synthetic Fibers We have learned that synthetic fiber is made by man using technologies. There are different types of synthetic fibers. These are rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. We will learn each of these one by one. Speaking about rayon, it has an interesting history. China discovered that silk fibers are obtained from silkworm. However, this discovery was kept as a secret for many years. The fabric made from silk fibers are costly but had great demand due to its beautiful appearance. Scientists tried to manufacture silk artificially. Towards the end of 19th century, scientists were able to manufacture a fiber by chemical treatment of wood pulp. This fiber has similar properties to that of silk. 
and so it was named as artificial silk or rayon it is cheaper than silk it can be woven like silk fibers it can be colored similar to silk fibers using dyes uses it is mixed with cotton fibers to make bed sheets it is mixed with wool to make carpets next we will speak about nylon it is also a synthetic fiber it was prepared from coal water and air without using any plant part which makes it first true and full synthetic fiber nylon thread is known for its strongness you will be surprised to know that a nylon thread is stronger than a steel wire besides strongness a nylon fiber is also elastic suggesting that nylon fiber is capable of regaining its shape after stretching or compressing also nylon fiber is lighter as compared to similar fibers it has a wide range of applications many articles are made from nylon for example socks ropes tents toothbrushes curtains seat belts in cars parachute etc to learn about the strength of nylon fiber let's perform an activity polyester another synthetic fiber is polyester unlike cotton clothes fabric made from polyester does not form folds instead it remains clean and fresh it is easy to wash such cloth therefore polyester is suitable to make dress material one of the popular polyester fibers terylene is an important one terylene fibers are very fine and these can be woven like any other yarn that is thread pet is a form of polyester that is used to make bottle films utensils wires and other useful products acrylic another artificial fiber which resembles to that of wool is acrylic it is a good alternative to expensive wool it is available in variety of colors sweaters shawls and blankets made with acrylic are relatively cheaper than wool so i hope you have understood this topic very well thank you for watching this video